Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, in this problem, we're gonna work on the following problem. So, given that uh, at noon, ship A is 50 nautical miles due west of ship B, and uh, ship A is sailing west at 21 knots, and ship B is sailing north at 15 knots. Uh, so, the question is how fast uh, the distance between the ships is changing at 3 p.m. Uh, so, to make better sense of this situation, uh, we can make a sketch. Uh, so, this is my attempt at representation. What do we have? We have ship A that is 50 miles uh, west of ship B. So, I think that west is the leftward direction in this picture. And uh, so, what happens? Ship A is sailing west at 21 miles an hour. Uh, no, it says nautical miles an hour. And ship B is sailing uh, north at 15 miles an hour. So ship B is going up on the picture and ship A is going to the left. So this is the initial position at noon. And sometime later we're going to have ship A somewhere further to the left. And ship B is going to be somewhere up there. So, to introduce coherence, we can think that the distance of the ship A towards this origin is uh, equal to A. That's the function A of t. And the distance from ship B to the origin is the function B of t. Uh, so, then uh, the distance between ships is going to be the function C of t. And uh, since we have the right triangle here, we can use Pythagorean theorem uh, to actually figure out uh, the distance uh, between ships. So C of t is the distance between ships, and we know that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared from the Pythagorean theorem. And uh, here is the deal. So since uh, ship A is sailing west at 29 miles an hour, so the rate of change of this horizontal distance is going to be 21. So dA dt is 21 miles an hour. And then ship B is sailing north at 15 miles an hour, so the rate of change of B is going to be 15 miles an hour. So let me put that in the picture. Uh, so we know all of those things. So then we can use the uh, equation c squared uh, being equal to a squared plus b squared to actually find uh, what is the rate of change of the distance between the two ships. So we take the Pythagorean theorem, Pythagorean identity, and the derivative with respect to t of both sides. So on the left, we have derivative of c squared, uh, that gives us 2c times dc dt. On the right, uh, we're going to do derivative of a squared uh, and uh, add derivative of b squared with respect to time. And uh, it's quite similar to the derivative of c squared, so we're going to get 2c times dc dt is equal to 2a times da dt plus 2b times uh, db dt. Uh, since we have 2 everywhere, we can cancel that out and have c times dc dt equals a times da dt plus b times db dt. And uh, since we try to solve for the rate of change of c, we're just going to go ahead and divide this equation by c so that we solve for dc dt. So dc dt is going to be 1 over c times a times da dt plus b times db dt. Uh, so that's our dynamic equation. So we just need to figure out what happens at 3 p.m. So 3 p.m., uh, the relevant piece of information is that 3 p.m. is 3 hours afternoon. So it's 3 hours since the beginning situation. Uh, we're going to have that the value of a, how far the ship a is away from origin, is going to be 50 plus 3 hours times the speed of the ship. So, ship A is 50 plus uh, 63 miles away. So, this 111 should actually be... So, 63 plus 50, that should give us 113 in here. So, let me have 113. 
and uh, then uh, the position of ship B is 0 plus 3 times 15, so it's going to give us 45. And then we know that the rate of change of uh, the speed of the ship A is 21, and the, sh the speed of ship B is 15, so we have all of that, and uh, you see, so we know A, B, D, A, D, T, D, B, D, T, we don't know C yet. So we just have to figure out what C is equal to. So we use that identity, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So C is going to be square root of A squared plus B squared. And uh, so it's square root of 113 squared plus 45 squared, which ends up being square root of 14794. And now we know all the ingredients to find dc over dt, so we just plug in all the numbers. So it's 1 over a square root of 14794 times 113 times 21 plus 45 times 15. And if we crunch the numbers, we get 3048 divided by square root of 14794. Uh, and if we get a decimal, it's about 25.059 miles an hour, or nautical miles an hour, or knots. So that's how fast the distance between the uh, ships changing at 3 p.m. We're gonna solve the problem with the airplane and the radar station. So we have a plane that flies horizontally at the altitude of 2 miles and the speed of 520 miles an hour, and it passes over a radar station. So we want to find the rate at which the distance from the plane to the station is increasing uh, when uh, the plane is the given amount of miles away from the station. So let's make the sketch of the situation. This will be the radar station. This is the airplane. So the airplane is two miles above the ground. And uh, we can think of this right triangle. So going directly below airplane is the height, then horizontal stretch to the radar station. And then the diagonal thing is the line connecting airplane and the radar station. So we're going to use those letters, so for the height of the plane we're going to use H, for the horizontal stretch we're going to use A, for the hypotenuse we're going to use C. And the data is that the airplane is flying at 520 miles an hour, so let's uh, make the airplane go to the left at 520 miles an hour. And the right triangle gives us that a squared plus h squared should always be equal to c squared. So now let's see. So the height of airplane is 2 miles, and it doesn't change in this problem, so it's going to be constant. And then the rate of change of a, and the rate of change of this horizontal thing, that's actually the speed of the plane. And in this problem it is 520 miles an hour. And then what is the rate of change of C? So this C is actually the distance between the plane and the radar station. So the rate of change of C is going to be the rate of change of the distance uh, to the station from the airplane. And uh, that is actually what we need to find in all of those cases. So we're going to take the equation a squared plus h squared equals c squared and differentiate it with respect to time. So I'm going to do derivative of a squared plus derivative of h squared. Uh, it should be equal to derivative of c squared. And uh, in this case, uh, derivative of a squared with respect to time is 2a times d dt. Derivative of h squared, since h squared is constant, uh, it's 0. And then derivative of c squared is 2c times dc dt. Okay, so if we solve for dc dt, since that's what we need to find, uh, we just divide both sides by 2c, and we end up having that dc dt is equal to a over c times d dt. And uh, then uh, we have those situations. So when the airplane is one mile away from the station, so this value of c should be one mile, 
Um, but uh, this is actually an impossible situation because the plane is going to be always at least two miles away from the radar station, since that's the altitude of the plane. So that's actually not exactly a correct question to ask. Uh, then, when the distance is exactly two miles, so we can figure out what this horizontal stretch should be, since a squared plus h squared is equal to c squared. Guess that a squared plus 2 squared should be equal to 2 squared. So that gives us say that a should be 0. 0 miles. And uh, so out of that, uh, the rate of change of c is going to be 0 divided by 2 times d a dt, so we're going to get 0 miles an hour. So at that instance, the airplane is... Hmm, the distance between airplane and radar station is not changing. Uh, now, when the distance is 3 miles, we have a squared plus h squared equals c squared. So, a squared ends up being 5, so a by itself is root 5. So, then the rate of change of the distance between the plane and radar station is that same formula. Plug in the numbers, uh, crunch the decimal, and you get about 387.59 miles an hour. So this uh, distance, this rate of change is much less than the full speed of the airplane. And then uh, when the distance is 20 miles, so uh, then a squared plus h squared is c squared, so a squared is 400 minus 4, that's 396, uh, so a by itself is root of 396. So then the rate of change of the distance uh, to the airplane is going to be root of 396 divided by 20 times 520, that gives us 517 times 39, uh, 0.39 miles an hour. So when the airplane is far enough, uh, then the rate of change of the distance uh, between the radar station and airplane is pretty close to the true speed of the airplane.